Hey, I guess it's been about six months. Let's have the YouTube community is dying conversation again. This time it seems to have been started by Mike Lombardo. Now Mike's argument is of course the same argument that we always have is that YouTube is different than it was in 2007 and 2008 when the community was all engaged in doing video responses and blah, 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 the community is dying. The community is not dying. YouTube is not focusing on anyone in particular. The people are focusing on the larger content creators. The people are coming here for music videos rather than going anywhere else. So of course, those content creators, those professional content creators are gonna get more, more views and more hits than we are. And you know what? We shouldn't give a fuck about them. Come to think of it, I don't really think that the professional content is actually overshadowing the, the amateur content on YouTube. You know, the Annoying Orange, all the Maker Studios guys, Philip DeFranco, Toby Turner, all those guys are in the top 100 most subscribed and some of them are in the top 10. Smosh is still in the top 10. Smosh, the people who joined in 2006 are still in the top 10 most subscribed because they're still putting out original, great content that people still wanna watch and still wanna subscribe to. So I call bullshit on the idea that the professional content is taking over on YouTube. I still think that it's totally up to the original content creators. The other thing is that the community that built around vloggers has always been small. It will always be small. So to expect that these giant superstars on YouTube are going to, to be overshadowed by some vlogger is ridiculous. It's just not gonna happen. The large mass community does not care about vloggers. What's the point I'm trying to make? The point I'm trying to make is that if you love what you do, it's not work. And if you love what you do, who cares how many views you get? Be surprised every time somebody watches your video. I'm still surprised anytime anybody watches my video and pleasantly so. To me, it feels like there's an underpinning sense of entitlement under Mike's video in that he's been around since 2007 and so he should be getting more views than he was in 2007 or that you know these original content creators should be getting more attention than they ever were. But the fact of the matter is that you are entitled to nothing. None of us deserve anything that we're doing here. Mike talked about a culture of rewarding parodies and covers and all this other thing. But you know what? Why do you expect a reward for anything that you do? The reward is when that one person watches your video, subscribes, and then sticks around. That's the reward you get. One view. Every view is a reward. Mike used Julian News as an example of someone who's making great music on YouTube and is doing successfully, but I would argue, and in fact, the numbers show, that Julia's most popular videos are covers. Yes, there are a few of her originals spattered amongst the top 12 of her most viewed videos, but most of them are covers. And they all happened when? Ah, 2007 and 2008. All of those covers. So to argue, that we're rewarding covers and not original content is false because the covers are what also reward original content. So I don't see the argument. I, I feel like it's flawed. You know what I think the biggest plague on YouTube today is? Is all these people who used to be around in 2007, 2006, 2008, who are now so nostalgic about what it used to be like in those days that they forget that it's not those days anymore. It isn't 2007. It isn't 2008. There's a load more people on YouTube. Way, way more by like exponential amounts more people on YouTube than there were in those days. I see every day on almost every social network I'm involved with, Google+, Twitter, Tumblr, I see videos getting shared all the time by original content creators and it's not only their own content that they're sharing, they're sharing other people's content. But what I do see is a whole lot of people going, Oh man, 2007 and 2008 was like the best time on YouTube. And you know what? That's really, really disrespectful for the people who joined YouTube three weeks ago. The people who just signed up for accounts and just started making content, it's super fucking disrespectful to say, man, YouTube was so much cooler in 2007. Nobody's engaging with content anymore. Good luck, fucker. That's fucking crap, man. That's total garbage and we should not be doing it. I think the same rules apply now that applied then. When those guys started in 2007, 2008, nobody was watching their content, but you know what? They didn't give a fuck. They put videos up and it was a surprise when you got 100 views on a video. It should still be a surprise when you get 100 views on a video. I don't care how many subscribers you have. If you get 100 views on a video, that's awesome. This has been a Drunk Bobby production because I've had two large screwdrivers this evening and, uh, and I felt like I needed to comment on this, probably because I'm drunk. But I think I made some good points. I hope I made some good points. We'll see in the edit process if I made some good points and I will see you guys whenever I see you again. Goodbye, farewell. Video responses are of course always appreciated and comments 
as well. Tell me I'm a jackass if I have been a jackass, which I may have been. Goodbye.